that, I figured I would show folks this uh, this game. It's pretty cool. I'm um, gonna be flying the T-55. It's one of the um, one of the DLCs that you can get. And I'm using the T-55 because it's got the weapons that I'm at least for now familiar with or more familiar with. Um, so we're gonna choose target practice. I'm going to go ahead and go in and configure the aircraft. I think it should be set up if things didn't change. Yep, it changed. So, okay, we're going to real quick re-equip our aircraft. Okay, and then this one we should be able to put. Ah. I'm just two on each side is what we can put there. So we'll equip that. Because our first our first uh, deal is, is um, airplanes that we have to shoot. So, uh, and then I'm not good at the bombs at all. I really suck at the bombs. But, uh, well, we'll go with the uh, GPS guided 500 pound bombs, I reckon. That'll work. And uh, we can even change what kind of... Uh, they call them liveries. We can uh, change what kind of livery that we want. I normally go like the dark gray. I like that. But there's all kinds of different options here. Uh, for again, for this. And that shows a different plane. However, like I like the, uh, the Arctic camo. And that shows a different aircraft there. However... If I click OK, of course, it, it does change it to that, so. Um, aggressor. Yeah, we'll go with the aggressor this time. That'll work. So, that's my T-55 sitting there in front of me. And I have my configuration good to go there, I do believe. So, uh, full of fuel. And, yeah, that's over. I don't know what all the deal. I'd have to pretty much take all the fuel out of the aircraft. And still, I'm, I'm still too heavy, I, I suppose, so. Yeah, and I guess that's what that is. I'm not real sure, so. I am still learning, kind of slowly. But this is kind of cool. You kind of start out in your little room here. And in order to start the, uh, the game itself, you have to grab your helmet and put it on. Now we're loading up the map. Thank goodness it doesn't take this as long as it takes flight some to load up. <laughs> Alright, and as you can see, we are in the aircraft. I'm not really centered here, so I'm going to fix that. And then uh, everything else should be pretty well good to go. So, we want to turn these on, we need to turn our radar on here, we need to arm our missiles, and then we have a visor on a helmet, and uh, let me put that down, that way we've got a heads up display right on our helmet. What you see up there in the sky, that is a uh, refueler, that's, uh, that's our refueler, and if I was good at refueling that way, we could definitely go up there and get more fuel. So. Uh, we're going to be going after the aircraft first, so first thing we want to do is click our objective, and we're going to click waypoint, that's going to put us in the direction that we need to go, and then we're going to go uh, back here to home, and we're going to put the radar up over here, and you see the aircraft there on the radar, and over here, we're going to put up the nav screen, we're going to zoom that puppy out a little bit so we can see, and then... Uh, Make sure everything else is good to go. It says my game window's not in focus, so that's now taken care of. Uh, let's see. I do believe that we are ready to go hunting. So now these uh, these aircraft and and the different equipment or what have you that we're going to go after, they they won't shoot back at me. So this is this is like. Uh, shooting fish in a barrel so okay 
and grab our stick here. Grab our throttle here. And let me get switched over to the AIM 120s, which we have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this SOI button. That's screen of interest. I believe screen of interest. And we can use our stick here. And we can actually, if I press the stick, shoot. and it's telling me to go ahead and shoot, uh, but I don't know where the aircraft is. There, well, that's a boat down there. I'm looking. And I thought I was saying that there was a plane that way, but I am not seeing it. Yeah, right there. Right there. Oops, there's another one. We'll go up and capture it. And I'm going to press my, oops, press my button. And you see it put the number one up there in front of me. And I'm not as close as I'd like to be yet. So let me get up a little closer. Uh, there's a, an arrow on my HUD. Right there on my HUD. You see that little triangle that's slowly going down there. Now we're getting pretty close. So we're going to go ahead and... Put this missile on its way. Boom! Out of the sky. Alright. It's pretty cool, huh? Watch that. It's gonna all break apart. Mm. That is so awesome. I love that. <laughs> Good night. All right, so now we need to find another victim. Let me uh, see if we can get our radar back down a little bit here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way with it. Ooh, right there. Actually got a couple. See that number one and we aren't quite close enough yet so we're gonna go full throttle Shoot. and now we are just in range that technically the missile could could make it but that little that little triangle that's going down on the right hand side there you really kind of want it inside the rectangular box part but I still let it go even a little closer than that. So I'm just learning this thing. So I just figured out yesterday how to lock my missiles, the radar missiles on. I didn't realize you had to push down the thumbstick in order to get them to lock on. But sure enough, you do. So I believe, yep, there's our carrier over there. When we, uh, when we get done with these aircraft, I will go and uh, I'll get rearmed at the carrier and I'll show you a carrier landing. Those are a lot more trickier than just landing on a runway. It's pretty cool to do. Alright, we're getting pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. I would say here in a moment, we will send this on its way. Alright, let's send it on its way. Pickle. I honestly have no clue what pickle means. I mean to look it up and I keep forgetting. And good night. That is so freaking awesome. Alright, uh, next victim. We got one over this direction, so let me get whipped over. Oh, over tea. Over tea. I'm thinking that's going to be that one there. Or that one. Shoot. Yep, that's that one there. And we are close. And 
and it's gone. Coming apart, coming apart. That is so awesome. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. All right. Uh, next victim. It looks like we got one out this way. A couple of them, it looks like. All right, let me go ahead. Shoot. Okay. And where are we at? Yeah, I'd like to get a little closer than that. So we'll boogie on over. Makes it nice that they're not trying to kill me. Oh, I'm Like I said, I'm just trying to learn the weapons. I really have no idea yet on a lot of it. But I'm happy that I figured out how to do the radar guided missiles. Alright. We are going to take them out. Good night, Irene. victim would be right there. the aircraft that we needed to get. We're going to find our carrier. Uh -huh. Over that way. Hmm. Fun times, fun times. Gonna go ahead and put our hook down so I don't forget. And I'm not really sure which way. I guess it's this. I guess we're coming on it the right direction. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna pull back our throttle, get our airspeed down so we can get our gear and flaps down. Flight sim for so long, it's pretty much a non-issue. 
Alright. Landing gear. And that's buzzing at me, telling me because our eight, um, we don't have enough power, electrical power. I think that's why that was beeping. I don't know. Normally my screens go blank when that happens. Okay, so we're just gonna slowly back down. I wanna kinda try to be around 160 or so knots whenever I land on the deck. So, because we have to catch the wires. And I don't pay attention to the ball or anything like that. And... Ooh, not good, not good, but I think we'll get it. And we trapped it. Awesome sauce. Let's get our hook back up. Go ahead and raise our, our not the gear, <laughs> the flaps. We're going to go ahead and turn on our carrier takeoff trim now so I don't forget. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put my launch bar down so I don't forget. Now all of this may be for naught because we have to come over here to our parking spot. station all right so let's get our brake locked here and we have to turn off the engine and we have to disarm our weapons and then we can go into our menu here and we can go into um, comms ground request and ground. what can we do for you and here we go so that was all air targets that we dealt with. Now we're going to have to deal with ground targets. So uh, we are going to go with uh, the heat seeking and there's an anti-radiation missile. So we're going to go with the AGM-126. Don't have a lot of good options there. So uh, and then for this. Uh, do we want anti-radiation or do we want bombs? Well, we'll probably want bombs. I'm no good at this thing But uh, I haven't been yet anyway uh, Let's see. There's the oh Yeah, we're, we can use uh, an AGM 65 here. They also got a CAGM 6 which uh, That's what we're gonna go with I'm gonna equip the AGM 6 and the CAGM6. And then we got another slot here. We can go with more CAGM6s. Uh, or we could change things up a little bit. I um, wonder how many of those puppies it'll get. Oh, it'll get, let me have three. So yeah, we're going to go that route with the AGM65s. And we're going to equip those. Very nice. Wow. Okay, and then back, and then we are going to keep in our sensor, there's a 65, so just this one here, and uh, what do I want? That might actually be the best bet, what's already on there. Okay, that is an anti-ship cruise missile, and here's just a regular cruise missile. But you only get one. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with the GBU-38. Because we can have three. So I am good with that. Uh, we didn't use any of our, our, our ammo. So that's good. We're going to go ahead though and we're going to click reload all. Just per shits and grins I guess. And we're going to max out our fuel again. And again I have no idea what the redness is for <laughs> so usually you can you know readjust your weight and get that knocked down so I don't know uh, we should be good here I'm gonna click return to air uh, and everything seems to be in order good luck out there happy hunting right on so we need to uh, turn off our APU we need to turn on our main battery 
Since that's powered up, we'll turn back on our APU. We'll go ahead and pull our screens up here. Radar is on, even though it probably shouldn't be on yet. And we're going to go ahead and arm while we're here. Turn on those screens. And uh, should be good to light our engine. And the launch bar is still down. Uh, the carrier takeoff trim is still good to go. And I do believe that we are ready. Um, I really don't honestly know what screen's best to put up now. Moving targets, there's some boats. Uh, we have to get a minimum of six of those. So why don't we go ahead and work on those next. And we'll go ahead and click the waypoint thing there. And we will go back to the home. We will go to the nav screen over here. And I'm going to zoom out a bit. And then, uh, oh gosh, we're going to probably use the, I think I want to use the C, uh, CAGM-6s. So, uh, in order to use that, I do believe we need our, that puppy. Alright, I think, uh, I think we might be good with that. So, let's, uh see how that goes. Let me go ahead and turn that on as a screen of interest there. And take off our wheel lock. Grab our stick. Grab our throttle. Our HUD switch is off. Hang on a second. Even though I see the HUD's clearly on. Flip the switch to make it look good. By the way, don't know if you noticed a little bobblehead there. Hey, bobblehead, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we've got a little bobblehead. The odd thing is, is my buttons don't line up right. Uh... My buttons, when I go out of the, the game back into the menu, won't line up right. I have to turn sideways to be able to click button. It's really weird. Uh, and for whatever reason, it is apparently linked to that bobblehead. Because if I take that bobblehead off, that's when I've got the issue. It's kind of really weird. I don't know. Okay, so we are going to have to get off of here and, uh, and go behind us. So in order to launch from the... Uh, in the deck here, we just go full throttle, and away we go. We're gonna put up our gear. Nothing better than a stop. I don't like it, but hey, I like doing it. Okay, let's get our angle of attack down. Gear. It's telling me to put the gear down, Landing but, uh... Gear. <laughs> Landing gear. Landing gear. I guess they Landing don't real gear. realize Landing that it's... Gear. Shut up, lady! It's, uh, I'm not landing. <laughs> Alright, let me get back comfortable with my stick here. And gaining speed. I really like the new aircraft, however, uh, what is that thing called? It's an F-14, is what it is. It's an F-14, essentially. And uh, I love it. It's an awesome aircraft, but it's got different weapons on it. And I'm, you know, still learning how to use the weapons. And so the tutorials that I have found uh, have the weapons on it that I am now using. So, I just have to get a little more familiar with the type of weapons and, and how they're, they're used. And then I can probably do a little better. So, we're going to get a little bit of altitude going on up here. And 
down there is going to be where our ships are. See the ship? So right there, I am uh, already locked on one. Oops. I was locked on one. So we're going to go ahead and fire at that puppy. I think that's all I need to do. Oh wait, I got to wait until a, a diamond thing comes to me. If I recall correctly. I believe there's a diamond that'll come down. If I'm not mistaken. Once I get within a certain range, I thought I might be thinking of a different weapon. I am apparently thinking of a different weapon. How is it? Um. Okay, I officially suck. Let's put that back forward. Oh, we're on the AGM-20. Okay, never mind. We were on the wrong... I thought we were on a different... Just trying to get out here a little ways so we're not so close up. to go to our cannon then. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't really know how to use the weapons correctly. I'm kind of working on them one at a time, and I just got the radar missiles figured out. Pull back here. Must have hit altitude, that. Altitude. 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 Another one here. Altitude. 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 Plot. Altitude. Plot. Altitude. Altitude. Plot. 
Ah, I'm out of those. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I died. Anyway, you get the point. I need to uh, go find out a little bit more about the optical guided weapons again. I got to refresh my memory on that. So, anyway, I hope uh, you at least thought it was somewhat cool. I will uh, catch you later.